Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to set up your Microsoft account for Xbox so you can make money by selling your game shares. This video is sponsored by DrippingGames.com, which is the largest Xbox game sharing platform for Xbox users. This video go over the same intricate details we talk about in this video here. We wanted to make sure that we have a video that's dedicated just for the people that just want to create an account for their Microsoft just so they can be able to sell it on Xbox. Okay, so the first step they want to do is go to Microsoft.com. Wherever country you come in, it will, this right here will be a different code. So make sure you go to Microsoft.com. Now I'm going to walk you through the complete process from start to finish. The first thing you want to do is, if you have a VPN, I just got a um, basic version at the moment. I actually do have the version, but I think I have enough time to go ahead and do this with. So when you have a VPN, you want to make sure you cut your VPN on because if you don't, you can't create multiple accounts on from that one IP address because it, it, will, it will come up as an error message when on Microsoft. So the first thing you want to do is after you have your VPN, no matter whatever VPN you, you use, right now I'm using Hotspot Shell, but the first thing you want to do is go to Microsoft.com. So now, man, I'm going to go ahead and try to create an account. Let's see. Um, let's see, because the, the newest game is about to come out. That's dropping tomorrow, actually, since actually at t today at 11 p.m. Call of Duty. So let's create one for Call of Duty. Um, I don't necessarily, let's say test code, um, zero, 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 zero. Oh, let's see how many zeros this is. Uh, zero, 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 four. That's four zeros. Um, let's do outlet.com. Okay. So now we want to create a password for it. You do not have to check this or uncheck this, but you know, either way is fine. I always uncheck it. All right, the first name, uh, since it's test code, let's just, I'm just gonna keep it basic. The date of birth. Um, so this is, um, a test account really just going to put any type of information there. I always, I'll, when it says stay signed in, I always just click no. You can click yes. Is it probably be better to click yes? But for me, I always click no. But let's go to my Microsoft account. Now, this is these next these next two steps is really going to be important because you will have only six days when you first create a Microsoft account to actually verify the account. To verify the account, you want to go to the securities. You want to go to the advanced security options. What we want to do now is put in the code that will be sent to the email address that you put on file. After you go through that part, when you send the code, it's going to ask you to verify your identity again. Okay, so this part you want to retype the email address. So when you receive that code, the second code, what you want to do is go ahead and put that information in. Make sure you click don't ask me again on this device. Make sure you hit no thanks. You don't really have to have this. You can just easily hit no thanks. You can say get it now. Preferably you just say no thanks. Now you have your Microsoft account verified. It will be six days and you have to make sure that you verify. On this part, whenever you actually go through this process, we have to verify each information whenever you sell your games on drippinggame.com. So we'll know how many 
switches you have for your home Xboxes and we have to make sure that obviously you're not scamming the other customer. And for the, each other customer, we really go in detail on this so we can help you. Now on the second part that you wanna go through after this, you wanna make sure that you go ahead on an Xbox and set up your gamer tag. So the next thing we wanna do is go to xbox.com. Okay, so when you go to xbox.com, you wanna hit the sign in button. And when you hit the sign in button, it's gonna automatically connect to your Microsoft account. Now, I don't always hit this. You can easily hit this if you would like to receive information or you'd like to share your uh, my contact information with partners at Xbox. Preferably, I'm gonna say always hit I accept. Do not click or check any of these boxes, just make sure you hit I accept. As you see your login information, and after you hit accept, they're gonna give you a gamer tag. Now the first thing you wanna do after you get your gamer tag and profile, you wanna go in and change it. You want to make sure you hit the Xbox profile and then hit customize. Now for the for the gamer tag, which I really don't care about the the picture, that's cool with me. But for the gamer tag, I want to make sure I change the name to test code 0004. So we're going to do check availability. Game, your gamer tag needs to be zero, 12 account characters or less. So we're going to take one of these zero off. And now you actually see it's zero, zero, 004, which is cool. You want to now change the gamer tag. And there you go. That is success. So. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And don't forget to hit that like button. See you guys later.